All right, so you guys already know that we can use proportions and the molar mass of our elements to figure out um, the relationship between grams and mole of a substance. But we can also use um, proportions to help us identify the molar mass of a substance, an unknown substance, if we are given how many grams and how many moles that sample has. So right now what we're going to do is um, set up a proportion that's going to allow us to use um, the mass and the moles of a substance to figure out the molar mass of an unknown substance. So one thing we want to do when we're setting up these proportions is just remember what is the unit for measuring molar mass. Well, the unit for molar mass is grams per one mole. So even though in this case I don't know what the molar mass is, I know it's x, um, I do know that the unit for molar mass is grams over one mole. Now, just like in our previous examples, we need to make sure our units on the left side match the units on the right side. So let's just transfer over those units. So if grams is in the numerator on the left, I know it needs to be in the numerator on the right. And since moles are in the denominator on the left, moles need to be in the denominator on the right. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is plug in what I know. Um, and I already plugged in what I don't know because I don't know the molar mass. Uh, so let's take a look at the problem. I know that my sample has a mass of 1.1, or sorry, has 1.15 moles, and I know it has a mass of 124.09 grams. So we're just going to plug those numbers into our proportion so that the units match. So grams, I'm going to go with grams, 124.09, and I'm going to plug my moles in with my moles, 1.15. And just like with our previous examples, to solve for x, we need to cross multiply. And I end up with 1.15x equals 124.09. At this point, I'm then going to divide both sides by 1.15 to get the x by itself. And I find x is equal to 107.9. Now remember the unit for molar mass, because that's what we were calculating was molar mass. The unit is grams per mole. Well, the question, okay, so that's great, I found the molar mass, but the question's asking me what element did this chemist find? So to figure that out, I need to look at my periodic table and find what element has a mass closest to 107.9. And when I look at my periodic table, I find that it is silver. So this scientist was working with a sample of silver. All right.